May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Have you ever said something in anger that you regretted later? Words spoken in the heat of the moment can cause deep wounds that may take a long time to heal. Today, we explore how controlling our tongue, especially in moments of anger, can lead to peace and understanding. In this video, we are going to delve into the wisdom of Proverbs 14.17 and learn how to manage our anger by keeping our mouths shut. We will discuss practical steps to control our temper and explore the spiritual benefits of holding our tongue. This verse highlights the importance of self-control, particularly in our speech. Let us now listen to the Word of God. I am reading from Proverbs 14 verse 17. A quick-tempered person does foolish things, and the one who devises evil schemes is hated. This is the Word of God. Proverbs 14 verse 17 provides us with profound wisdom about the dangers of anger and the consequences of losing control of our temper. When we react impulsively in anger, we often say or do things that we later regret. These actions not only hurt others, but also damage our relationships and reputation. The Bible consistently warns us about the dangers of uncontrolled anger. James 1 verse 19 to 20 advises, Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. This verse reminds us that rash actions driven by anger do not align with God's righteousness. Jesus himself set a perfect example of patience and self-control. Despite facing immense provocation and suffering, he remained calm and composed, never retaliating in anger. As followers of Christ, we are called to emulate his example in our daily lives. Practicing self-control in moments of anger is not easy. It requires conscious effort and dependence on the Holy Spirit. One effective strategy is to pause and take a deep breath before reacting. This brief moment can give us the clarity to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. Another important step is to pray for God's guidance and strength. When we ask for His help, He empowers us to control our temper and respond with grace and wisdom. Additionally, meditating on scriptures that emphasize patience and self-control can reinforce our resolve to manage our anger. Lastly, seeking forgiveness from those we've hurt in anger is crucial. A sincere apology can mend relationships and demonstrate our commitment to living according to God's will. By practicing these steps, we can overcome the impulse to react in anger and instead foster an environment of peace and understanding. Why is it important to control our temper according to Proverbs 14.17? It helps prevent foolish actions and maintains our relationships. What advice does James 1 verse 19 to 20 give about anger? It advises us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. What is a practical step to manage our anger? Pause and take a deep breath before reacting to give clarity to respond thoughtfully. How can we seek forgiveness after acting in anger? A sincere apology can mend relationships and demonstrate our commitment to living according to God's will. Apply the wisdom of Proverbs 14 verse 17 by practicing self-control in moments of anger. Pause, breathe, and pray for guidance. Let your words reflect Christ's patience and grace. Make a commitment today to control your temper and seek God's help in managing your anger. 
Strive to respond with grace and understanding, reflecting the love of Christ in your interactions. Anger can lead to regrettable actions and hurtful words, but by applying the wisdom of Proverbs 14 verse 17, we can learn to control our temper and foster peace. Let us strive to emulate Christ's example of patience and self-control. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wisdom of your word. Lord, grant us the strength to control our temper. Help us to pause and seek your guidance before reacting in anger. Fill our hearts with patience and understanding. Teach us to respond with grace and wisdom. And strengthen our relationships through forgiveness and love. May your peace guard our hearts and minds. We declare that with your help, we will overcome anger and foster peace in our lives. Amen. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. Shit, I